All right, so question 12. On the grid, we're asked to draw the graph of y equals a half x plus 5 for values of x from negative 2 to 4. We've got this grid here, and we need to do something with this guy. You might notice there's a bit of a gap here between the question and the graph. There's a reason. They want you to draw a table, or at least they're giving you the space to do so. Normally, this question comes with a table. In this particular version, it didn't have one. So we're going to make one. So I'm going to choose values of x, and I'm going to put them in to this rule here, and then work out what the y values would be. So the different values of x we could have, do a little table like this. So the different values of x go from negative 2 up to 4, so it could be negative 2, could be negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And a nice thing to do when you've got a question like this, if you've got to fill in your table, is start with the easiest one. What's the easiest number to substitute in? Often it's 0. A half times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 5 is going to give us 5. So that's what y is going to be when x is 0. 1 uh, is generally easy as well, but slightly more complex here. A half times 1 is a half. Add on that 5, 5.5. Put in the 2, a half times 2 is 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, and you may at this point have realized there's a bit of a pattern going on. Now, you might do this using the slope intercept method, but again, we want to guarantee marks, show all of our skills. Okay, so I can plot these points now. Um, negative 2 and 4 has got to go on. So negative 2, when ne x is negative 2, y is 4, when x is negative 1, y is 4.5, so negative 1, 4.5, and we're going to continue on in this fashion, plotting all the values, all the different points, we plot them. Just finish it off here. Okay, so that should tell you four and seven. Lovely. Now, after you plot the points, don't rush on to the next question. Don't forget, you've got to draw the line. Lots of people lose marks for that. There we go. That's the equation of the line used to draw the line on the graph. And if you were using the slope intercept method, you might look at this and go, well, I know that that's C, so it's got to cut it at five, which it does. And I know that the gradient is one half, so it's going to go up in steps of a half. And you might be able to plot it that way. Either way is good.